and it's a diversionary tactic. It's a self-fulfilling problem. You demonize, and then you, it, we call it the wrap-up smear. If you want to talk politics, you call it the wrap-up smear. You smear somebody with falsehoods and all the rest, and then you merchandise it. And then you write it, and they'll say, see, it's reported in the press that this, 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 and this, so they have that validation that the press reported the smear, and then it's called the wrap-up smear. Now I'm going to merchandise the press's report on the smear that we made. And it's, it's a tactic, and it's, it's, it's self-evident. Uh, it really does look like it's going to be uh, Donald Trump, who is definitely quite different from Ronald Reagan, uh, even though they're both Republicans, and, uh, and President Biden, of course. We're back where we started. Well, we are, we're, we're in a, a, an election. Very smart. Very smart. And we're not, we have a, a further case to make. When people are making a judgment about the election, they always think about what it means to them. What are their kitchen table issues? How do they meet their responsibilities? And as they look at, Ronald, at um, Donald, Donald Trump, they have to see that he said... Of, of Obamacare is a, a sucks. Forgive my Sunday morning, I'm sorry. Obamacare sucks. No, it doesn't suck. It cures. He wants to take away, he has taken away a woman's right to choose and, and make decisions. And those are kitchen table issues. Health care, the cost of health care, uh, the access to health care, the not having a pre-existing condition no longer standing in your way. And the freedom, democracy is a kitchen table issue. The freedom, the freedom to, uh, to be who you are and to make your own decisions and to have a thriving economy in which you can succeed. And President Biden has accomplished that magnificently. Just 31 percent of Americans approve of how Biden is handling this economy, 56 percent disapprove. And this is interesting. Just 13 percent of Americans say they've gotten better financially since the president took office. By a 49 to 21 margin, um, Voters believe former President Trump will be better for their finances than President Biden. One of the challenges that Democrats might have in organizing is some anger in some corners of the progressive movement mm -hmm. over Biden's, Joe Biden's support for Israel in its war uh, against Hamas terrorists. How concerned are you, especially given the fact that we have seen protesters over and over and over uh, at his events, how concerned are you that people, young people, Arab Americans, progressives, I'm not suggesting that they're going to go vote for Donald Trump, but how concerned are you that they might just stay home? Well, let me just say this, because I've been the uh, recipient of their, shall we say, exuberances in this regard as recently as in Seattle on uh, Thursday, unfortunately, we wanted to disrupt our very exciting Democratic meeting there. They're in front of my house all the time. So I... I, I have a feeling for what feelings they have. But we have to think about what we're doing. And what we have to do is try to stop the suffering and gossip. This is women and children, people who don't have a place to go. So let's address that. But for them to call for a ceasefire is Mr. Putin's message. Mr. Putin's message. Make no mistake, this is directly connected to what he would like to see. Same thing with Ukraine. It's about Putin's message. I think some of, these, some of these protesters are spontaneous and organic and sincere. Some, I think, are connected uh, to Russia. And I say that having looked at this for a long time now, as you, you know. You think some well. of these protests are Russian plants? I don't think they're plants. I think some financing should be investigated. And I want to ask the, the uh, uh, FBI to investigate that. The most of your constituents block the sergeant. Stop, stop the genocide. Stop the Holocaust. The Democrats want the ceasefire. The Democrats want the ceasefire. The Democrats want the ceasefire. I have every confidence that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be president and vice president of the United States. I know we will carry the House. I'm uh, confident that we can improve our numbers in the Senate, and we can do it because we're going to own the ground with our organizing. We're going to have a message of values for our country. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word, 
I was going to put him in uh, foot. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing.